What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario. If you're new to the podcast, what's going on? I hope you enjoy it. I'm I'm in a I'm in a you know we're we're all happy. <laughs> the minute you look at me, like I got it, but then yeah. the minute you look at me, something happens where like I go like, am I doing it wrong? <laughs> I wasn't and even then I, thinking that. I know, I know. I was looking I know. at you because you're my friend oh, and we're doing well, a show together. Yeah, so that's what the show is. Three friends what is? having a good show. Here's the scenario. I'm one of your hosts, Brendan Sagalo, being joined with me as always by Mike Cannon and also Mike Feeney. Gotta take a second. Let me breathe. Yeah, yeah. Well, Oh yeah, you relax. That's all. Hold on. Let's I want to talk to Steve Bartman over here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I'm dressed exactly like him. This might be the same fleece he was wearing, dude. Were you saving Steve that? Bartman. That was get that guy a pair of glasses and, and a, or a pair of headphones. That's Hold on. so a pair funny, of dude. Dude, that is I wear Steve First Bartman, all, please. you high bastard. I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> get this man a pair of headphones. <laughs> Steve Bartman, dude, you look look, poor. look down and sheepish, Nicole. You have to pull up the the picture of him. Yeah, dude, uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god, that's not the game. Though. Is that that's the guy that ruined though. the game? That's, he like caught yeah. the yes, ball. That's yeah. him now, but you got to go back to the one of who was that? The Mo- actual was in that, the nineties. Was when that it happened. Moises Alou that was going for the catch? Moises Alou. Wow, that's, that's what how, happened? That's how nobody says it. What happened? Mo- Moises Moises Alou. Alou. Yeah, not, Moses. Nope. 100%. Not even in his native land. Yes, it is. No. It's Moises no. Alou. Moises. That's nothing Moises from Alou. nowhere. What are you talking about? There's uh, a lot of... I have questions about this guy. Okay. Do we know about this sick. guy? He looks sick in this picture. Yeah, this is a terrible picture. Bad. Nicole, please get this off and pull up that oh, one. Oh, there That's he what? is. <laughs> Hi, welcome oh, to Here's the Scenario <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to ruin somebody's dream and perpetuate a curse for a city. <laughs> <laughs> Is, was he, what happened to him? He, did, he reached he, over. He became, no, uh, no, no. I know what happened, but like, where is he now? He left. You just he saw left. that picture of him. Dude, yeah, he left po- Chicago this for This poor for fucking guy had to leave Chicago. Not only did he leave Chicago, Death but he also, wow. like, they've been doing documentaries. They've Bro. been like, because the Cubs have Dude. won since then, right? <gasps> People yes. are fucking insane. They so finally they, broke the curse. So the Cubs have won since then. And when they won, they were going to reach out to him, or they did, they did reach out to him and try to bring him in and be like, All's forgiven, dude. You don't have to put take the gun out of your mouth. You're good. And they beat the shit and out of him. No, and then he wouldn't even. <laughs> he's he like, I, I, yeah, I will not. He's like, by myself. the way, it, it's yeah, and it's it's not even that. It's a thing of going like they're like, okay, no, we'll we'll forgive you now. And it's like, I don't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. He made yeah. death threats to my family. You made me move out of the place. It was, You're all right. He's, he's w- autistic, man. Look at him. He's listening. I'm looking to at the game. <laughs> <laughs> he's listening to the game while at the game. Yeah. Anybody dude. that does that can count match picks, <laughs> bro. Like, dude, most hated autistic person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's I don't know. A lot of people hate, hate Elon. <laughs> That's true. Now, That's true. A lot of people. I yeah. forgot he's autistic. Um, how? That couldn't save him. I don't know. Because he's yeah. smarter than yeah. me. It's like, dude, <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> you're not. Yeah, but you're rich and autistic. So you're more privileged. Yeah. You're like a wealthy cat. <laughs> Dude, that's such a that's such a funny thing because wow. that pull up collar kind of acts as yeah. the turtleneck yeah. situation. And that is, <laughs> that's, uh, that's this, uncanny. This is a bad look for me. Is this where you this went? Is this is where you went. You guys. This is tough. I am. This is Finkel and Einhorn. <laughs> I I was Steve Bartman, and I just a uh, soccer style kicker graduated Tappan Zee High School, two thousand three, and now so I'm a podcast. Yeah. yeah, we go to your house. It says, "Don't catch the ball" all over the wall. <laughs> it was mine. I called him. Off. <laughs> my mom's like oh, oh expect him home any hour well that's not what this show is i mean it kind of is just laughs with with a good time yeah um but we our also- native american name laughs with good time laughs with good time <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving your uh, you're trying to like get back in Go trying to get back into but it. you're finding yourself having like you, you have too short a cleats on for how wet the field 
you got too short of cleats on for a wet <laughs> That's so funny. He's got a uh, existential <laughs> crisis going on, a, 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 a battle of <laughs> might and man to go everything against not wanting to control the show and yeah. having to control the show. Well, yeah, yeah, that really is All the shit is what he rails is. about every time <laughs> anyone else hosts versus then when yeah. he has to do it, he's like, God damn it, I see it now. Now when, I, uh, I you, sense a bit of anger in the in the in the sentence everything he rails about <laughs> no 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 okay well i think something's going on with you today yeah. and i love sure. you i want to say that i love yeah. you very much mm. you have my full support i'm here for a warm good time you know what it is i'm just in like uh, I, I really appreciate yeah. that because that's exactly yeah. what i need because i don't know i just woke it was one of those days i woke up and i was like fuck it's all about the he said fuck. he said <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just bullshit. Yeah. And I think I'm going to slip. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or <Yeah>. whatever. <laughs> or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. <laughs> it's just How the, don't we have 50 million downloads per episode? But I don't get it. Do you guys have those days where you just wake up and you're just like, fuck it. Like, literally, I woke up and me and Jess are just in bed and she's like, immediately, like she like opened her eyes and she's like, What's wrong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I just woke up and I was like, I just woke up, saw your face, and you asked me that. <laughs> and uh, now my day's ruined. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Haven't even gotten out of bed yet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, Try again tomorrow. No, I was telling you, you guys, you... Nicole was legit livid this morning, upset to the point of like shaking that she didn't have anything to wear to my <laughs> big night. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Women are fucking nuts. <laughs> nuts, I tell ya. <laughs> you guys are a bit crazy, okay? Yeah, it must be all that moon pulling. Y'all need to relax. <laughs> moon pulling. No, but it wasn't even her. It was just like, I just woke up and I was just like, it was gray. You know, yeah. you wake up and you're like, everything's gray right now. Yeah, I what do know. I do know that this? feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because your your room is surrounded by mirrors. You're like, ah, you're looking at your hair. That was the joke I made, and then you made it hurt. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't I know. I'm a, trying to. You I'm, said I live in a fucking fun house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what the show is, if you're if you're listening to, imagine listening to this episode. This is your first episode, and you're it like, it is for best. a lot of people. It is for a lot of people. One of the best already, I yeah. would say. Yeah. yeah. How far in are we? Um, we are four minutes. That's we are it. haven't started Amazing. the timer in yet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> um, but if you're new to the show, this is what we do. You know, we 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 ask, uh, here's, <laughs> I almost said here's the scenario. We yeah. ask scenarios, uh, Mary F. Kills, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, hypotheticals, hypothetical-based podcast. Wow. Yeah. And uh, if you like to ask us a question, because we've been doing that, we, we were doing that at our shows, and we we're like, hey, this is the podcast we do. Do you guys have any questions? And people do and have- they're like, we like this version better. <laughs> <laughs> Drop cannon. This is great. You guys have a great dynamic. Three is too many to split money between. <laughs> We did a, we did have a moment at one of the shows. All right, where we were no 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 where we were like we were like we did I was with kidding. another guy. Thanks, Brendan. You're out. <laughs> You're fired. Um, and if you would like to send test. us hypotheticals and stuff, just things that you and your friends talk about, and you'd like us to talk about as well, sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/scenario_pod. We have over 300 hours of content, old podcasts that we've done, raps that I've never shown in the world. Not ba old. Backlogged. Backlogged. Archived. Archived. There we go. Uh, Libraried. Libraried. Um, Chronicle. Vaulted. It's Stored. in the Disney vault. That's right. It's in That's the right. Disney we vault. put Beauty and the Beast back in the vault, and it won't be released again for another 13 years. <laughs> See the magic for the last time. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, it's only five dollars i think it's totally worth it it supports your boys and you get priority for your questions also thanks everybody for coming out and seeing us on the road and stuff that, that means a lot to us i mean how nice was we had it such a good time that all three of the boys were on the road doing shows to fucking packed crowds yeah this is nice Very somebody cool. somebody sent us i think a message recently that uh probably made me cry i am almost crying a lot lately it's just it's just happening but uh they were like man can you believe this it went from you guys fucking bitching about playing like you know a cop benefit to 17 disinterested officers to now you're out there you're yeah. in other cities people are coming uh, to see you yeah. this is like fucking to see. I cool to see you I've... liked it and said thanks man so it didn't uh, even touch your heart i guess oh uh, thanks man he's got a bluetooth on <laughs> Siri, say thank you. <laughs> it says sent with Siri. Yeah, yes, yeah, sent with thank Siri. Thank you, man. No even period. 
<laughs> it says men. Not God, even thank, you men. <laughs> thank you, men. <laughs> Feeding oh. his chat GPTs his entire Twitter. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, no, I should go back and look at that. That's crazy. Um, I would also like to receive weeks a message ago. Good luck. like that. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> what well, did you please, say? Cool. Oh, what did please. you say? I said, thanks a lot. I'm crying. Something. I don't know. I probably didn't respond. <laughs> no, yeah. But uh, I probably you just internalized just it. Yeah, seen. <laughs> Brendan, you get plenty I, of dude, lovely was, remarks. I, Brendan's I know, the I, real star. <laughs> hope the mics know. And it's like, yeah, why do you think he's here? What do you think we're doing? He can't get off the ground I without us. Without and we the, can't either. Yeah. The, it's the, the reason whole we're all thing. still together. <laughs> we're a fucking tripod of retards. That's yeah, our whole yeah, thing. Dude, yeah. Cut that retard part out. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Keep it in. Amplify the volume. <laughs> Uh, really? Yeah. What's I saw where it's like Ooh, when it gets like over overblown. That's word. That works. Overblowing it. Overblow it. Overblowing. Like I'm overblowing this hosting gig. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, we had a great time in Michigan. You just uh, closed your eyes. <laughs> I've been closing my eyes a lot lately. Oh, that's good. It feels kind of good. Yeah. To just you walk know? through life, eyes closed. Yeah. Well, where, it, where are you doing it? Like in the car, Pete Davidson, sweet King surrender. of Staten Island style. It's, it's sweet surrender. Is that <laughs> sweet what you, it's surrender. A sweet surrender? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in a moment with you. Here's a moment I treasure. Forever and ever. <laughs> don't wanna close my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. God, Ben Affleck was so hot in that movie. What movie is that? Uh, Armageddon. Armageddon. Oh, was uh, that's the song for Armageddon. Yeah. That's funny. I, did, I f- totally forgot about that. I didn't realize how What's her name? Tight I am. His, his daughter. Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. Yeah. Supple lips. You ever see um, uh, uh, Empire Records? Yes. What? Empire yeah, that's Records. like, first of all, that's my generation. It's not yours. You're, <laughs> well, yeah. I can't. No. <laughs> Get out of here with Empire Records. Would you watch it in an antique oh, store? Sorry. Get the fuck that's out of here. That's so funny, dude. I, the, you can't bring up old movies. I bring up old <laughs> that's movies. That's my thing. I'm 90s movie guy that nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he takes him aside after this. Hey, you need to knock it off. Yeah. Right? yeah. We have the I've old. Been working uh, hard at this. Yeah. Dane Cook, steal your essence. That's right. Conversation. Yeah, that's exactly. Right, Stevie B. Stevie B. I would have loved to see uh, Steve Byrne at that time been like, yeah, maybe it does have a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm half Asian. <laughs> Back at the Mickey D lounge. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, you were about to tell a story. You were saying something. We were saying something Firstly, so interesting that we need to talk about on the I don't podcast. Know if it was interesting. That's putting a lot on it. But well, I'm for sure. To, you know, should we do one question first? Something. No, at least present. This like, is the show, buddy. Feels, we open with. A I feel riff. like we should do one question and then do the story, and then we can go back. Just so at least if that makes you comfortable. If that makes you comfortable, just to throw out, okay. like a warm up question. I'm into making happen. my friends feel good today. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. We we really should uh, hey. always have that. Hey, how about you say it with less of a demand? I love. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And so, dude, does your wife do that where you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to go take out the garbage. She's like, can you take out the garbage? It's like, I'm stop taking what I was going to do anyway <laughs> and making it seem like you got me to do it. No. Yes, dear. No, you got to just do that. That's, go, that's, yes, an art, that's a tactic of war. Yeah. No, I turn around and I say, well, that's cool because I'm about to fucking murder everybody in this house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, that's so with, funny. In front man. of your child. Yeah. You're just she's walking there. with the trash bags and she's, she's like watching TV. Hey, can you take the trash out? And you just stop and you go. I've done that. I've done the thing where I'm like, no, now I won't. <laughs> I was talking about just letting it all out in your living room. Oh, well, that would oh. be good for either of us. Yeah. yeah. And, and no one wins in that exchange. I think you win. <laughs> yeah. I think you win a little bit. But not when you're, doing what, not when you're cleaning up, because you'll have to clean it you're up. You're going to have to. Not when I'm up. cleaning it up and buying a new carpet. Yeah. Yeah. And like scrubbing. Yeah. That's or, true. Or and then it's something rug. that your wife will bring up for years to come. Like, it smells weird in here. It was like garbage in here right. since that garbage you spilt. Remember that garbage you spilt? Yeah. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this first question comes from Firefly Depot. What fad did you want to participate in but were too old for? Example, Tech Decks, Power Rangers, and Heelys. I was too old for Heelys, um, really? but those other two were absolutely things I was obsessed with. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Uh, and Tech Tex. Oh, I, I and, love Tech Tex to this and day. And what was the other one? Uh, Power Rangers. When did Tech Tex come for you in like sixth grade? Because I think I was in eighth grade when. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah, up. I must have been in fifth or sixth grade. I remember. I remember having that thing, and it was Dude. like everyone got different ones. And it was like you'd buy it. Yeah. These. How perfect is this table for a this? Tech would be amazing. This is a Here. entire street course. You should have. <laughs> if I had this as a child, I would have been a lot ah, more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Truly. Let's get some tech decks. Let's get some. They, they some sell them. Decks. They sell them still in really. Target. Yeah, crew has a couple. Oh, that's awesome! So yeah. If someone can make us a tech deck with our logo on it, yeah, that'd or be a lot of fun. A real like skateboard throw. would be yeah. cool. Just actually, you know what? Individually with each of our portraits, yeah, <laughs> perfectly drawn. <laughs> Nicole like too. Airbrushed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like our funeral T-shirt in the hood. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have we have like we're smoking like cigars. That was what I gave my uh, groomsman uh, for my wedding. Oh really? It was uh, my yeah me it was like a fucking airbrush airbrush T-shirt yeah. of me a funeral R.I.P. T-shirt. That's right. My cannon. That's right. Loco in, in quotes. Loco gato. <laughs> <laughs> so there's tech decks. You said the, what was the other one? Power Rangers. Power Rangers was wildly huge. obsessed with that. I've told the story about how once before. <clears throat> you must family. have taken this guy's suicide hard. Who? Oh, Jason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The well, no, that was way later. Momoa. That was Jason later. Momoa killed himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more, he no more Aquaman. Yeah. Jason he would never. Has anybody who's ever, like, the rock's <laughs> size, like, famous, you just say killed, killed him? Has anybody, no, but like, has there ever been a, a Samoan famous suicide? actor that was, like, huge, like the, like the rock or, like, Jason Momoa? Uh, kill himself Chris Benoit yeah that's and he true. killed his he took his family with him yeah that's, 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 that's my type different. of guy that's a little yeah, yeah that yeah, is yeah. my type of guy <laughs> if I don't go nobody goes <laughs> yeah wait it's the other way if around if I don't go nobody goes yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you guys just yeah. exist <laughs> that's living that's what you're currently I meant doing. on with life <laughs> still makes sense though yeah, yeah. kinda but uh, so yeah. uh, Power Rangers my family one time we were I think we were in like Arizona or something we were on vacation somewhere and these new, everyone was trying to get the Power Rangers. They were like yeah. the, the tall ones, you yeah. know? And I remember a literal rush at the store. Like my mom and dad were like, j- just like jingle running. all the way. It was way. the same time with like Beanie Babies. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, yeah, that's <laughs> it, was like, funny. it was like a jingle all the way, but Thanks. it wasn't even Laugh. Christmas. I did. <laughs> It did. wasn't even what you, Christmas. What are you, a fucking Pennsylvania audience member? I went, ha ha. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> what, so, oh, you're in Philly this week, which gets into the Philly story. I'm in the middle of I a story. Know. Oh, go. I so I remember them buying like a bunch of those Jason ones, actually. They were the red ones. They got, he, she, she bought probably seven of them. I thought he was green. Jason no, was the red Tommy one. is green. Tommy. That's is right. Green. He's the one that killed himself. Yeah, he's yeah. the one that yeah. Tommy killed himself. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, yeah. So. He, uh, get it right. So <laughs> I bought, my family bought like seven of them. And I was like, yes, as a kid, it was like, the great. and they're like, these aren't for you. <laughs> these are, just these are like collectibles. Sucks. These are like, we're going to like, so like all of those ones that they bought, none of them were for me. Oh, oh man. That's God. terrible. <laughs> yeah. 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 They still have them too. It totally missed the window of like when to sell it at its apex. This is now it's yeah. right now. Do you think so? It's, this is peak nostalgia. Everybody is looking to the And 90s. the Beanie Babies. No. So many beanies. Yeah. Oh, Nicole's, at, that was like Nicole's retirement <laughs> plan. They had about 40,000 in like a weather controlled room. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they just dumped, you know, 11, 11 grand into this <laughs> dog shit. And they're like, oh, I guess this is worth nothing. Yeah, the so Princess funny. Diana one, you had to have oh, the yeah. covers. For yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you yeah. press its paw, it sings fucking Elton John song. Yeah. <laughs> the, tag, <laughs> the tag for the cover is the funniest thing ever, where it's like the, like the little protector, the tag protector. Oh, yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. What, how, that's what rate retained its value. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Just the, this, this, like, I remember people having books Bro, about like yes. the worth of yeah, yeah. babies, like, a, like an encyclopedia. Dude. But it's all bullshit. It, it is How like. How do you well, describe that? That took over the nation. Well, like so that. did fucking NFTs of like yeah. baseball players and basketball players. That happened for like three months and yeah. now those are worthless worthless and also were the beanie babies at a time like nfts were they selling for a lot of money yeah 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 it was wow. hard to get so oh, it's all like crap. it's all a fugues chef chef uh robichon robichon bear estimated oh. mint value five thousand i didn't have him thousand dollars oh, i think i had that, that, that bear i had so many bears i had so many beanie wow. babies Twenty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, f- yeah, fucking right. That looks like Brendan the Bear. <laughs> After he's been in the sun for eight minutes, <laughs> yeah, I wish I was Brendan. that much money. 
That's hey, beanie, that's what I look like on the inside. Never had you know? this chocolate. <laughs> Never had this. Uh, uh, no. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't. Oh, wait, though. I did have that one. Dude, I had so fucking many of these. No, you didn't. <laughs> you might be right. I know. You might be right. <laughs> I definitely had that one because that was my favorite one. I bet you didn't. I Quackers really did. Prove it, prove it in any way. I can't. Okay. I what, was can't. That what was that first one worth 30K? <laughs> I had that one. <laughs> what? I what? threw it out. What would be I have the Britannia me? one. Oh, why would had. why would me know. lying? What would that do for me in this situation? Just make you feel good. <laughs> Give me attention. This this came out in 2010. They still sell these because I buy crew the Avengers ones. Like he has the Hulk, Spider Man, Black the Panther. Protectors? No, I rip the tag immediately off. And <laughs> yeah, throw yeah, it in the garbage. But um, oh, I had both of those. <laughs> no, you did. Uh, yeah, I still do. Somewhere, I, <laughs> somewhere I bet. Yeah. Dude. I have six of those. I don't know. Number one bear had a thousand of them. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> I, I don't you're, know. You're looking means. at, you no, know, you know what it really is too is uh, I have, you know what really is pissing me off lately? <laughs> I have Pokemon cards at my mom's house. Fucking mint shit. Yeah. That's definitely worth some money because all I'm seeing is like fucking Jake Paul wearing like a Charizard around his neck yeah. coming out to the fucking ring and all I hear and I keep telling my mom, I go, mom, we gotta find these fucking Pokemon cards. They're a treasure. With they're, It's a gold mine and my mom doesn't fucking believe me because she's been through so many Beanie Baby bullshit that she's like, she laughs in my face and I'm like, she, I'm like, we need to get these Pokemon cards. She's like, alright, Brandon. And I was like, it makes me want to burn everything to the ground. I love that you will not look by yourself. <laughs> You're like, this has to be a family event. It has Mom, we got to get, get it these from cards. the attic. Look for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to get them true. from the attic, put them at the front door, and then I will drive all the way out there and get them. <laughs> and yeah. then I'll give her a finder's fee of $100. <laughs> I will give her a finder's fee of a good amount of money. Oh. Yeah. Have you Maybe I'll get her a house. Has she thought about that? I don't know. Da, 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 have you da, da, all, <laughs> yeah. Have you offered any of that, thought, Dennis Miller? Yes, I have. Okay, babe. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> babe. <laughs> uh, what, but what? It's like the guy from Orpheus and Eurydice. <laughs> it's so hard to do that hard fake. Do it. it is Because hard. you have to I have do it, a lot of big words it's yeah. fun. in a sentence. Well, I like funny. Orpheus <laughs> and Eurydice because it's it's palatable, but it's a fun Greek, it's fun <laughs> Greek names to throw out there. Just, well, you, you know that story? You're like Prometheus, babe. Do you know Orpheus and Eurydice? <laughs> what? Do you know Orpheus and Eurydice? No. It's when Eurydice, his what or his chick dies, goes to the underworld with Hades, and then he goes oh, to try to get her. Gets in, yeah. And Hades makes a deal with him that he can lead her out of the underworld as long as he doesn't look back. Yeah. And as soon as he looks back, as soon she's as he's gone. about to go out of the fucking the world, he doesn't trust it, and he looks back, and she's like. <laughs> Oh, sucked fuck. back. I thought it fucking... was like it's he, he doesn't trust it. No. Wow. I thought it was like right before they get out, she says his name and he's like, huh? And she goes, gone. No, he doesn't trust it. Wow. Yeah. What a dumb idiot. Hey, it's Greeks. Now, what is the lesson there? <laughs> it's a tragedy. Uh, it's trust the devil. Trust the devil. Yeah. Also, kind of elements of stay in line. Don't question authority. I'm missing a lot of details here with what I'm saying. So <laughs> no, but I'm sure I think there's that was, some. That's more or less. That's like 100% it. it yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Well, so but what? So the question what is, fad but what were fad you too old now, for? Now, perfect. Like they said that Heelys or whatever those were, wheelies or Heelys, Heelys, Heelys. I, I really, I mean, I was into rollerblading. You know, that was our time was rollerblading, yeah. and Heelys looked like so much fun. Heelys looked like a co combination of both, but I was just too old. I mean, I think yeah. it must have been like. Four, 13 or 14 or something. It was like way too old. To yeah, I think I was in high school by the time like middle school and younger got them. And I think elementary school, like fifth graders were rocking them before middle schoolers. So yeah. it didn't, it didn't even bleed upwards. Yeah. It just the ones, stayed. The ones that were like the fad. And when I was in elementary school was those LA gears where you stomp and they light up in color. Oh, the I blue, love those. Blue LA gears. I love I had like those. three rounds of those. <laughs> this, <laughs> me too. This might be me being like a asshole or pompous douche about things, but I wouldn't have even rocked either of those because of the kind of shoe they were. Oh, like, I would yeah. have been like, these are fucking lames. I can't, yeah, they, they were I'm always kind of cool. Pull up those LA gears. Well, the LA gear, anybody that wore LA were... gears was a kid that picked his nose on the basketball court. <laughs> like, nobody in LA gears balled. Yeah, but, dude, those, those, those. Well, they played in LA up. gears? Yeah, I, yeah, there were some kids, you know, it's, it's fucking CYO or rec or whatever. So some kids are wearing, like, you oh. know, Tiva sandals. I had those shoes when I was, like, young enough to not even understand a word you just said about the basketball. Like, I had them in, like, fifth grade. Oh, wow. Those are new. 
new ones. Those Holy are cool. Shit. Whoa, that, those are cool, those are dude. Sick. That's like what you wear when you're in a cult and you're about to, and the you're like, like the night you're going to kill yourself. Um, these were black with blue. The, the night where it's the mass blue suicide. stripes yeah. on them. Whoa, on very the side, cool. On the outside part of I them. used to rock British knights. That's my, uh, that's my fucking age demographic. But I was what like, I was in like third grade. Those are similar LA gear, like kind of off brand, but became mainstream because somebody yeah. vouched for them. Look at these fucking things. No. Oh, those are LA gears too. But those I, aren't the ones I had. Pick, wow, those are wild. They have them at the bottom. Those look that. disgusting. Those Nicole, are- pull up the British knight black tops. So those were what I, those I think were my first ever basketball sneaker. Derek Coleman of the uh, of the Philadelphia 76ers, also formerly of the Syracuse Orange, was I think he was the guy, and then he moved to Converse. I don't know, but I kind of uh, like those. You like those? I don't man. know. They're growing on me as I look at them. No, I would like. I like the other LA gears better than those. I w- yeah, I want the. I want to see that. I w- those, here's the thing: those don't look good on on white no. guys. It just I, doesn't. I want like my those are like too, to glow. too clunky. High top. This was nineties though. That's yeah. why, huh? But I'm saying those this came was out the 90s. in the early nineties. Yeah. So that's no, like, I know for 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 the time. That's pretty like futuristic, you know. Yeah. I would actually like those. Yeah. Oh, those weren't even the ones I owned, but those, are, those look like snowboard boots. Yeah. <laughs> those <are> terrible. <laughs> Crazy. Those are, um, dude, that looks like a cake. Nicole, try to fit <laughs> it it does. the size it's of like that shoe. <laughs> Sneaker or cake? <laughs> okay, Tommy. <laughs> or what's that guy? Mikey O'Day. All black. <laughs> Mikey O'Day. <laughs> Blue lights. On the side of it, but on the shoe, right? Like where that blue square is, is where the lights were on the LA gears, weren't oh, they? Oh, I don't know. I had the shoes that were more like the sim, like the last ones where the the light up was like in the heel, like right there. I love I those. Oh, oh no, they had cool. ones in the middle. They had yeah, ones in the, the sole. They had a cut. They had ones on the back, like lining the back. I also they they still make light up shoes all over. I mean, they still make LA gears, but they also have like. Spider Man oh, yeah. light up like shit, like, Bluetooth controls and shit. Yeah, yeah. like make yeah. it do the yeah. wave. They sell them on Amazon, where you can literally through your phone change the color of the lights in your in your sneakers. Now that's yeah. something I might like. <laughs> I would like. Kind of cool. After saying a punchline, cool. just poof, green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for money <laughs> and for go for that's a claw. What I do. Yeah. So I wanted Heelys, but I never got them because I was too old. But it looked great. But also those, I, I, my neighbor, na- my next door neighbor had them. And they were like 30 pounds, those things. They were Dude, crunchy yeah. Shit. The, uh, well, I wanted Heelys as well. And my mom bought me these shoes that weren't, my mom always got me like the thing, like I would, I would, yeah, they're shoes with, with wheels in them. And then she'd mm. get me like shoe, like literally shoes with wheels in them where they were like, the ones that I had were, uh, the, they, they didn't like, they didn't stick out of the shoe. So you weren't able to like do it whenever you wanted. If you wanted the wheel to come out, you had to push a button on the side, which the button became gross and sticky Mm -hmm. like a week in. So you're like, come on, you know, trying to push it in. And they would literally come out like trucks. It would be trucks that would go and it would make you taller and you could rollerblade a little bit. But the wheels were really small. So you couldn't use them on like gravel. They were like the the middle to grind wheels. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And you couldn't use them on gravel. The only place you could really use them were in the halls who, of your school. Who is, who is rollerblading oh, on a lying. dirt road? Yeah, what do you mean? You can't gravel. even use no, them I gravel. Dude, what, do you have rubber I'm wheels on your It's all I've been thinking about. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a kid. I've, I see wheels on shoes. I go, I'm taking this everywhere. Sure. Where, this is how I'm but traveling. you quickly find out that it's not for gravel. Immediately, and then you're like, clank, your elbow. clank, clank. You're walking through it. You're like, I'm not even rolling at those, all right those, now. Those metal I don't know, stones. I don't know why, but I got to... Uh, uh, a sneaking suspicion uh-huh. that Nicole lived on Heelys. No, I didn't. I wasn't allowed to get Heelys. Why? I don't know. And they were banned in my school, too. Yeah, they, they were, were banned, banned in everybody's yeah. school. We weren't allowed to get them. What, Interesting. What were the things that, that was were like, you'd banned like the in your school? perfect age for that. Soap shoes ended up getting banned in my school. Soap shoes? Yeah, those were the ones with the grind plate in the middle where oh, you can yeah, like, yeah. aggressive walk. Yes. Those, uh, those I was old enough for. I never owned those shoes, but I did used to aggressive walk in my own air walks. We'd just fucking mm-hmm. uh, wax the shit out of every single surface and yeah. do royales yeah. on it and shit. Ma- Dude, that makes so much sense that they'd be like, no, you can't be grinding all over the school. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, not, o- not only is it destroying property, but they're also massively liable for any injury exactly. that you get. Exactly. So it's like, if you break your arm, that's fucked. If you get a, like, crazy head injury for the rest of your life, that school is going under. Dude, it's so funny to be, to, like, 
run that school and then you turn on the TV and they're like, grind juice made for the kids. And you're like, oh, come on. Dude. Get to class faster. Yeah. <laughs> Nerf like guns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Water pants. <laughs> Ever want to take out your classmates but not hurt them forever? <laughs> Nerf. <laughs> Nerf guns. <laughs> Looks like the real thing. <laughs> what Dylan Claymore should have used. <laughs> Do you guys know what Nerf stands for? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every everything that I thought up was bad. <laughs> yeah, everything. What every, was it? Nothing. I will not say. <laughs> not n- not environmentally friendly. Ooh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Dude, that was a spell. Was oh, Nerfo! Holy shit! Ooh, Nerfo. No. Sorry, I'm uh dumb. <laughs> <laughs> N E R F, not environmentally really friendly. That's not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> ooh, out. that yeah, was, the, ooh, and you said the it was so getting much. into what I was spelling. Sure. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you asked without knowing. I, there isn't an answer to it. Oh, okay. Do you know? Do you know what uh, Adidas stands for? It's just a made no. up word. No, all day I dream about soccer. No, I'm saying this. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So that I knew because Corn has this has all the song day. Adidas. Uh, but it's all day I dream about sex. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. What was uh, your th- fad um, that you wanted to get into? I don't know if I ever wanted to get into something because once I aged out of something, I was like out. Yeah. And I also didn't really participate much beyond like sport fads. So I was rollerblading. I did skateboarding. I BMXed. And then everything else is more or less evergreen, like baseball, yeah. football, basketball, all that shit. But um, I guess I'm definitely too old for Pokemon. But I never wanted to get into it. Like I, I saw oh. it, and it never appealed to me on any fucking level. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I was definitely too old for Heelys for sure. There was part of me that was like, oh, that would be cool. But then I was like, what if I want to shoot around? Like I'm not. Yeah, I'm not shooting around in eight foot There's cement. C- yeah, cement blocks. Yeah, like, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> um, and then yeah, beyond that, like yeah, all all those card things like Pokemon, and then what was it, Mowgli, or what was the other one? Magic, Digimon, Magic. The uh, well, Magic, Magic the and then there was another one. Uh, uh. Qu- uh it started with a Q. Well, Nico's really into it. Nico White. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Yu Gi Oh. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. it. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh. So God, all so all that good. shit was like the kid that I babysat for when I was in high school. He uh, he was into that. He yeah. was like five or six. I don't know. I there was never. I never really got into like. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Everything I felt like I was old enough for, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, Pokemon cards. I, I feel like I discovered Pokemon cards, to be honest, because I was it was uh, Justin Esposito's f- uh, birthday in fifth grade. And I went to the, the motherfucking <laughs> comic book store uh-huh. and I found Pokemon cards and I was like, let's get them these. And uh, the guy was like, oh, yeah, those are uh, those are like they just came in kind of thing. And I was like, OK, I feel like that's not right timing, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm. I know for a fact I'm wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's no now, now way I, like the story. I discovered Pokemon cards, but for a very long time, years, I was convinced I brought Pokemon cards to. America. I meant for even that guy to say like they just came in. Oh, you were really? In fifth grade? Because what was that? 2017. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they fucking, they've been here for a while. <laughs> 96. Yeah, 96. you were. You weren't six? even born. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was just in my dad's balls then. Nicole, were you alive? Nicole wasn't alive. Uh, I was newly born. That's wow. cool. Wow. Wait, you weren't alive? No, I was. I was oh. born in 1991, baby. Okay. Yeah. It's younger than Nicole. What'd you say? Sister. Yours was That's crazy. 90 what? I was newly born. I was May 96. Wow. 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 You just came out. You were like, <laughs> gift that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> like, after the third, she said, Boomerang. <laughs> you see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> boomerang. Yeah, you did it yourself. Oh, like, it could just Scott. be an eight second video, and that's the boomerang. <laughs> boomerang, rang a boop. Rang a rang, rang a boop. Yeah. Well, and audio. That's no sweat. audio on it. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be cool. Fun. They should. Invent it. We're <laughs> Invent. Invent it. Make he it. He just did. No. He, he, I brought Pokemon you to You came the up with the idea, but what? I discovered Pokemon <laughs> because I was friends with the first Japanese kid in my school district, nice. and he told me about it. Some young guy? No. Oh. <laughs> we, we, we joked, though. No, <laughs> uh, 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 gay poo dig. <laughs> gay poo, poo dig. 
Uh, all right. Well, let's go to another question, I would say. But <laughs> no, I want to hear Feeney's story. He's now all warmed up. You're all warmed up What's for a story? story? You said Michigan, Detroit, mushrooms. Oh, yeah. But before you get into that story. And you now remembered that, it and are deciding whether or not you want to tell it. Story. And I see it. I know both of you. It's scary, actually, how well we all know each other. Uh -huh. Because I watched your fucking brain just process Go everything ahead. that I just said. Because <laughs> I watched you locate it and then pretend <laughs> to forget again by, like, looking off into the clouds. And that was you being like, I don't feel like telling this. <laughs> I feel like Feeney wants it to come up organically. Oh, we are putting a lot of pressure on it right now. Being like, tell your story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I do want to hear the story. I was there. Uh, you wouldn't know it by that, by throwing out road spikes. I know. I, know. I don't know. What yeah, weird. I, I, I want to see if you I'm can doing. go 160. He says as he rolls out some nails onto the street. <laughs> Tumbles out the <laughs> nails, bananas, and everything else. Nails, bananas. That's my band name. <laughs> um, but before we get into Feeney's amazing story. Uh, leave us a five-star review on iTunes. It helps. Leave a comment on the YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube. Oh, yeah. And then just plain old tell your friends. And if you got a little... So sweaty. If you got... If you... if Hey, if, say you what? quit... <laughs> say you quit coffee, okay? And you got those extra $6 laying around. Subscribe to the Patreon. It's $5 a month. You get backlogged everything we've ever done. And you also have a dollar to spare. So it's $5. And see us on the road. We love when you come out. We love when the shows are with, are with the fans, you know? Yeah, it's the best. It's, it's preferable it's to not the, best. the fans. Yeah, because not the fans throw things at us. There's also, it's not even that. It's just like people... Listen, you guys have a lot of people have been listening to us for a while. Now, the, obviously, there's new people coming on board. But the people that have been listening to us for a while that live in cities that we have never been to because we had no means of getting there or performing for you are all of a sudden seeing us and are like, oh, shit, this yeah. is great. You guys are like real because we're so self-deprecating and also shitty to each other in a funny way <laughs> yeah. that it might come off like we're invalids. But we could actually <laughs> do this job. Oh, yeah. We actually oh, yeah. make a living at it. That's great. <laughs> we make a living at being invalids, making a living at being invalids. How about everybody come out and see what we're talking about live at the Emmaus That's Theater right. on March 25th? Yay. Two days before my birthday. Uh, yeah, it's it's Cannon's birthday. Uh, birthday show. show. Big we're one. Pennsylvania. Stand up and a live pod. Nicole's going to be there, right? Yep. Yeah. We're Is Chris coming? Um, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I'll pick him up. We should have Chris open. You got to take the train. Chris open on a, just a just playing guitar while people come in, you know. Can cool. we put him on acoustic on like? They say that the spades are the weapons of war. <laughs> they say that the clubs are. Ah oh, shit! Yeah, keep coming. Was that a real song? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. by Sting. Oh, it's called. Uh, I thought it was racist. shape of my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah, no. it started sharp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like they say that spade. diamonds <laughs> means money for this art, but that's not the shape of my heart. I gotta be honest, that's much more Brian Adams than Sting. Oh, this Sting. <laughs> uh, I'm saying your rent. It mines a cover. Yeah, yeah. Brian Adams. Frank Caliendo doing Brian Adams <laughs> doing Sting. Call back. Hmm? Amaya's Theater, March 25th. <laughs> get tickets to that right now. Uh, you guys can also uh, go to my website, mikefeenycomedy.com. I'll be up in. Boston and Seattle and Portland this year, and I have a bunch more dates uh, being added. It's going to be a lot of fun. Also, tickets are already on sale to this. This is um, light years away, but we're also going to be doing a show in Jersey. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That's yep, the Algonquin sale. Theater. That's right. Yeah, in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, the three boys, instead of doing Uncle Vinny's, which we've done, we've, which we've done, which we've done, uh, we're, doing a, we're doing a big fucking venue. We're putting on a great show. All of us are doing stand-up and the live pod. It's a fantastic time. We cannot stress enough how interactive it is and how much you guys are involved. Take a look at the Skankfest episode. Take, if you're on the Patreon, go to the Emmaus episode. You just get a feel of what we're doing, and it's such a good fucking time. It's it is so fun. It's more or less like kind of bar, like controlled bar trivia. And come with, <laughs> yeah. But by hilarious people. <laughs> yeah. And come with questions. 100%. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and patreon.com slash scenario pod if you want all the backlog stuff. Um, other than that, twitch.tv slash NYFreshMaker. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. MikeCannonComedy.com for all my dates. 
Gramercy Theater has already happened by the time this comes out. It's actually this thir- this Saturday. We apologize to the venue for burning it down. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, but uh, yeah, so after that, I'm going to be in New Westminster, British Columbia at the House of Comedy for March 15th, 17th and 18th. I'm in Seattle, Washington at the uh, at Hereafter. Come out to that. And then Emmaus, like Feeney said, I'm in Newport, Rhode Island in May, Phoenix, Houston, you name it. A lot of shit coming in. And uh, I mean, I can't, I don't know, obviously Gramercy hasn't happened, but I do want to uh, extend a actual, genuine, heartfelt appreciation and thank you to everybody who has bought tickets. Um, It's crazy, overwhelming. Thank you so much. There are, uh, the fact that there are this many people that are gonna be in one room to see me do stand up is, uh, it's it's truly fucking a dream come true. So thank you very much for coming out. Hell yeah. And uh, you know, subscribe to all of our- Zach Gay, should we erase that? (laughs) No. The race is that. Okay. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube and uh, twitch.tv slash sags to riches as well. Nicole. Nicole C. Lines on Instagram. All right. This next question comes from Brandon. You have to pick one to eat for a week straight. Soup, salad, or breadsticks. One to eat for a week straight. <laughs> Soup, salad, or breadsticks. Now, I'll be honest. Because uh, you got to think about dinner and lunch, right? Right. So... Obviously, salad is going to be the healthiest answer, um, but I just don't know. I guess you. I guess the answer which should be salads, but soups I feel like are underrated. You can have. There's also a lot of different soups. Different kinds of soups, different texture soups. soups. You can have a. You can have a thick, hearty are one. Are we counting at night. chowders? Oh yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. Broth. What about uh, broth? Broths all the way down to broth. The broth was the ro- stew. Stew. Yeah. stew. Stew is another stew. is the thicker side of it. You know, yeah. broth is the thin spectrum and anything in between. I mean, you got to go soup. I guess you got to go soup. I'm going soup. Yeah. I, I was going to poo poo soup, but Nicole makes so much fucking soup, I want to hang myself. But <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I guess salad. Oh, oh soup. Let's do it. Oh, we haven't had a convoy in eight yeah. months. <laughs> we haven't agreed on anything. I, in wonder, eight I was going to say, what a fun indictment on us. Is that yeah. like, oh, yeah, we're, we haven't each, a- we're just at different places. <laughs> this one comes from Tanya. He, here's the scenario. Huh? You you have to fight everyone you've ever insulted. Okay. You have a day oh, to prep time. You can't do anything like going to the authorities. <laughs> and the fight happens in a location of your choosing. Whereas it's fair to both sides. For example, fields are a yes, but places with hiding spots that you know are about are a no. Mm. You win by either killing, knocking out everyone, or avoiding them for one hour. What are you doing? Here's what I'm doing. I mean, you can avoid people. I'm that. going to I'm going to like a revolutionary war field. Gettysburg. 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 Sure. Yeah. Let's go to Gettysburg. I am setting up a little little tiny shield that's like a How are you doing that? I'm, I have I have notice. It says. Oh, okay. I just can't tell the police. Right. And then I am getting a Gatling gun and I'm just going to have all the enemies run oh, over the fight. field at me. I like the idea that's of murdering that many that's, people, that's but good. we have to physically fight. You don't have to fight. You can't hide No, we're from fighting. Them. It yeah. says beat up. Well, no. you can hide from them for an hour. So if, if Feeney made his little, like, um, you know, room, I guess, or it whatever. It says you can't be in a place oh. that you could have a hiding spot. Yeah, but if you build it. They will come. They will come. You could just yeah, build something out of cement, build a whole, like, uh, you know, thing, and then just get some food and hide in there for an hour. That's easy. This is what I think, man. Is I'm I'm picking a wide open Idaho field with no <laughs> nothing anywhere. Just if they can't find me, they're fucking stupid, <laughs> and they all run at me, and I'm gonna lose at some point. I am going to die and get my ass kicked. Sure, but I will say the satisfaction of pummeling the fuck out of the majority of the people that I've insulted or who I've thought have wronged me throughout yeah. the years. Um, man, sure. that'll be worth it. Well, let me tell you how out of your mind you are, because you're going to go down. You're going to feel that satisfaction the first they person. Don't f- they don't find you at the same time. There's, But think about every person in your life that you've either insulted or Even good shit on. Like, I'm in I mean, there's, you're talking right tens of thousands. So this is going to be like literally a... And he's just going... Yeah, I'm just like just like Lotus oh, blacking out the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What happens if you punch somebody and you're like, oh, that actually made me feel bad. 
and then you have ten. Then, then I get to take the beating that I deserve. Then you do the apology tour. Yeah. No, because either way, either way, I'm losing. So I'm gonna lose at some point. They get their, they get their comeuppance. I get what I deserve. I'm not saying that I'm right in this thing. I've insulted people that. Do not deserve it. But um, but that said, I'm I've leading also, the charge. I've also yeah, <laughs> come on, you guys. Yeah, and then you quickly fall behind oh. because they're running faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Brendan's, they're all running. Brendan's I've, the rhino uh, in Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> I trip. Uh-huh. <laughs> I trip and fall, land in a big tire. The tire starts going down a hill. I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> off to, dude. Off this is Agri-Ball. what you do. <laughs> I I have all my enemies, and I get in a hot air balloon. For one hour. Aha, you fools. Yeah. You can't reach me up here. Nice. I am in the sky, just high enough, but not low enough. They're like, someone just goes, pop, 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 pop. Shoots no, I would out. I've never insulted anybody with a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, right. My father-in-law has so many guns. <laughs> yeah. I've, I insulted him by yeah. swimming. <laughs> he, he currently doesn't have a front tooth right now. It is it's Jeez wildly Louise. funny, man. Yeah, it's that's crazy. funny. <laughs> like you're a real 2023 pirate. Dude, remember when we saw Dipset? Yeah. Remember oh, that? yeah. We ran Brendan, into Dipset. Brendan and I ran into Dipset, almost screamed at them, I or at least verbally. I did. I almost. Oh, Feeney was there verbally. He was right. on the phone. I almost like laid on the horn and was like, get out of the Yo, road, you fucking assholes. I really they were mean just, it. They were literally like driving slow and kind of erratically. They then like parked yeah. almost diagonally to cut off the entire street. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. About to do this. And then I see this, gi- I see Jim Jones, Jim who Jones. I immediately recognize. So and cool. I was like, I was like, oh shit, that's fucking Jim big, Jones. Big Bowling. Yeah, dude. And then out comes Joel Santana. And I was like, is this fucking Dipset? <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck? Dipset all hanging out right now? Well, and then... Uh, I can't believe they still do that. I don't think we saw Cameron. No. I didn't, at least. But he may have been in the other vehicle that was ahead of them. But they had, like, blacked out, yeah. probably bomb-proof fucking Escalade. Jim, Jim Jones opens the back door of the Escalade, and in... It looked like he was getting the strap. I know. And honest. in the pocket of, like, the, the door pocket was just a bottle of... I think I'm just saying Cristal because I'm racist, but I think it was Cristal. <laughs> it was some sort of champagne, dude. Just in the pocket of your Escalade. It's like it was whey protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> vitamin water, motherfucker. Why did you say vitamin water? Because 50 Cent owned it at one point. It was the first thing I could think of. <laughs> dude, cent I was 50 point. Cent. Yeah. There is no more <laughs> fun thing it. than follow it. No, he doesn't. He cashed out. Oh, really? He, yeah, for 400 mil. He uh, he owned one percent. He went the- bankrupt too. Yeah. No, no. He he that's what you do Wild. to Yeah, but that's what you do to get the creditors off your ass. He went bankrupt and then created the LLCs and shell shit so yeah. he wouldn't get personally sued, which he should have done forever. Yeah. But um <gasps> you lost it. Uh the <laughs> crystal in the door. Not that 50 cent. <laughs> Sold it for four, uh, 400 purple. million. Vitamin water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh <laughs> um no. It was what? watching Brendan say something racist. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Right. Nicole, okay. who's Not better you, than you? Nicole. <laughs> who's better Thank than you? you, Nicole. So Brendan might be my favorite person to follow at New Jokes because he is just David Duke up there, just <laughs> screaming every racial epithet what? he can think of because what he has the mean? protection of yeah. Will Silvins right I mean, next to him. kind of. I'm not really doing that. I no. did do a black person voice, which I thought was going to be and hilarious. While, like a ski bop, a ski bop, a ski bop, a ski bop, like that. Like, I thought I was going to. I, really I don't could. know what you're talking about, so missed it like they, that. Now you're like doing me. it, but oh, this won't go out to anyone. S- <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Second you did it in a room, in a room <laughs> of people whose phones are. We're away. locked up. Yeah, exactly. The best place I'm just. I I'm didn't quoting, do it. Actually, Brendan. you did it. That's, that's I had. I, I didn't do I it. My and there's recorded. no evidence. I have your set recorded. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And I have my set recorded that I reference your stupid thing. Just because you reference it, you reference it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I trashed Brendan for like the first two minutes. I didn't even do new jokes. I just wait. What? Happened? Oh, I we he, Brendan just did a I did a bit of, I said, on stage. I said something about uh, Jugs magazine. Will was like, "Oh, I didn't know what Jugs is. We have uh, ta- like Black Tail is yeah. the name of the magazine." Okay. And I used to get that Vita Guerrera used to be wait, on the wait, cover. Wait, 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 and wait, I said wait. something around the lines like, "I don't know how it came up, but I just went like, yeah, you ever read Black Wet Pussy magazine <laughs> or something like that?'" <laughs> <laughs> and it got nothing, and I was yeah. like, "Jeez, it, 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 got, it didn't get nothing. It, it got, got like, the absence oh. of sound. <laughs> it, it, it sounded like we were in yeah. space, and you delivered the first joke. <laughs> it's like when you take." It's like, <laughs> nope. It was like that. 
<laughs> it was exactly like that. And then, it was like that. And then what happened? And then I just I, and then did, I, Will, did Will go, what the fuck? Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. He sure did. He was like, hey, what you the fuck? You racist motherfucker. That, this is, that's exactly what Will this, sounds like. Uh, like that's not. Uh, first of all, he's like, why yeah. you? Why yeah, you making yeah. that voice? That's what he sounds like. Yeah. Oh, but not when he's Which dead, is worse. Not when yeah. he says racist motherfucker, though. I don't know. I think yeah, you're I wrong. Wow. Yeah. The Tonight Show's Michael T. Feeney <laughs> yeah. has a black scent. <laughs> it was more of a Would Wilson. you like to apologize? Next, on Planet Hollywood. <laughs> That's not a show. <laughs> TMZ. Planet Hollywood. Tig Notaro says restaurant. something racist on Here's the Scenario. <laughs> it's a restaurant. <laughs> All right, let's do another question. I have to eat something. This comes from Cerna Style. Oh, who's that? Here's the scenario. Mm -hmm. You are a professional athlete. In your current physical situation, which sport do you think you could get paid to play? What is it? In your fit, in in what you can do right now, yeah. you're a professional athlete. Okay, what are you doing? Pickleball. I would. Yeah, I thought you were going to say like poker or something. If, the, if I think if we that's can not. I, I do not. I do not <laughs> count fucking poker as. Well. I do not you, look at the gelatinous beanbag chairs that play that fucking yeah, that's thing. They are not sport. athletes. It's a game now. I, I would think I that if one. there was one that we could do, we would all be doing it. No. I mean, pickleball Pickleball is the closest to what we could potentially do. Okay. And it's not a lot of money, but it looks like it might explode. Tom Brady is a team. All these people are buying up pickleball What's teams. pickleball? Pickleball is like small, small pad, well, wooden paddle, wiffle ball on a small tennis court. And you play doubles. Oh, it's like gym class. Right. You probably played it in gym so you class. You don't let it hit the ground. No, you do. You do? Yeah, yeah. It's the same rules. It's, it's one a bounce. Ball, though? Well, yeah, one bounce. It's fucking awesome. I mean, I went to uh, I went Tenet. to the park the other day with crew, and there yeah there was a bunch of old people playing. Uh, I think it's it's like a really good way to oh. get exercise if tiny, you're older. Tiny tennis. But also the reason why I haven't played is because Joey Avery was uh, was playing pickleball and he I tore his that. fucking Achilles. Really? Yeah, and it's like I know for a fact the moment that I play something for real. I'm going to get like seriously injured. That's, like all this is nagging shit, but I yeah. will get seriously injured. That's one injured. that he, uh, that, that he, that's like the second injury too. Ugh. In like major injury in a year. Dude, oh that sucks, God. man. I can't, I, that, that injury in and of itself like makes me very queasy. And it doesn't, how do you make it hit the ground in front of those people? It's so cool. Well, that's what's hard is sometimes you spike it down. Sometimes you, you, it's just a back yeah. and forth volley. Jesus. It's, dude, the game is awesome because it's really just like reflexes and yeah. athleticism. And I'm sure there's eventually going to be some real big skill to it. But right now, this is the ground floor of pickleball. Oh, wow. So you can be as unskilled as the game will ever be to potentially play, play you know what if I, that makes sense. You right? know what I'd do? Uh, Hit me. Cornhole. Oh, I cornhole. Cornhole and just with with one with one drink in my yeah. hand at all times. Yeah. yeah. I'd with, have to go back to drinking though if I played cornhole. Shit. Yeah, of course. If you're yeah. a professional cornhole player, please. Yeah. You're drinking. What about beer pong? You think beer pong is a sport? I was a unstoppable monster. Lights out. In beer pong. I mean, but, two of us. But we, we didn't never lost. <laughs> it's just true. Where was literally lost never first. Lost. Where was times. that other time that we played that we ran it? And I'm for blaming just my partner. Hours. Like, dude, I've I've gone I like at my at my thing, I've gone 17 games in a row. Yeah. I've gone like upwards of 20 plus games in a row because it's like you guys just aren't touching me. And once <laughs> I get drunk I'm better because I'm I don't doubt myself yeah. in any way. Yeah, and you get that touch for it. That's just that yeah, little you're flick. Like, yeah, you know exactly Dude, I, the table size. I, I spent know where everything so goes. So many parties in uh, in college playing beer pong. Like so many times. I lost like, out on so much sex. I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Lost out on talking to so many other women and people because I was just playing with. I mean, sometimes you play against women, but it was like then it's like speed dating. You're yeah. like, you talk to them as, and, you're and you're shitting like, on them too. You're like, oh you can't God. even fucking make this, you Dude. fucking. Or you're pig. like patronizing <laughs> them. You're like, you got this. Go ahead. The yeah, hottest, yeah. the hottest girl I had a chance with in college. I ruined it because of beer pong. Be because I just absolutely dunked on her. Yeah. It was just like you are fucking brutal. Dude, like trying to be cute and yeah, stuff, and yeah. she's just like she's like she's like has never so competitive, has never been fuck? insulted in her entire life. Dude, yeah, if, we, if if skip it, if there's a girl that I'm like flirting with and and she's on the other side of the table, it'll all go sideways if she even leans a little bit. I'm yeah. like elbow, yeah, elbow, yeah. Yeah. watch leaning, your fucking leaning. elbow, Tuck your tits back. I hate, yeah. I hate the leaning, dude. Uh, I liked when I used to go uh, to house parties at Erica's in Connecticut, at, like when we were in college and stuff. 
we go over there uh, and they had these rules that when you, the team that lost, uh, if you lost, you had to sit under the table for the next game. <laughs> oh yeah, we had that. We had that rule <laughs> too. That's great. You had to so, sit under no, the you table. Didn't. Yeah, we did. We had, you had to sit under the sign table. Under, sign the under the other side great. of the table great, and have great. a drink under there. And everyone kind of became a good sport about it. Where yeah. they're like, "Fuck, man!" And then like, you know, you're chilling down there. And yeah, we didn't have it for if you lost, yeah. but we did have it for if you lost and you got no. Uh, what? That's you, a bullshit. You got no horn. Oh, bullshit horn. <laughs> He's lying. Uh, and all my beanie babies were there. Uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, if you were, if you lost and you got no uh, balls in the yeah, cups, yeah. then you had to sit under the table for the whole next game. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I love the signing of that's really that's cool. Great. That's very cool. Did I tell you? I think I've. I must have told this on Irish Goodbye, but this is like I was. I was drugged. But uh, I went to visit Geneseo the year after I graduated to see some of my buddies that yeah. I lived with. And um, and I get back and I'm like running the table, beer pong. I'm like talking shit to the point where it's not cool. I'm like being <laughs> the older loser at this party. And, uh, you know, smoking blunts, showing everybody how much I've grown drug wise. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then all of a sudden I woke up and I'm in the bushes and it's fucking like kind of morning gray. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look down and I have no shoes on. Jeez. And then I walked to my old apartment that I lived in the year before slammed on the door at like oh 5 30 a.m. and some like terrified girl opened up and I'm like I don't live here and then I just like <laughs> turned around walked to my Dude, buddy's place oh, shit. Yeah, broke into my friend's apartment and then slept on the foot of his bed like his golden retriever <laughs> oh until the morning God, and I was dude. like what the fuck happened and it turned out this kid Jace that I was like moderately friends with but we also had some competition with a girl the previous year he he, uh, he put Benadryl in my beer. And then when I saw him, Dude. he goes, you've been drilled. Jesus and I was like, what? Christ. He's like, yeah, I put Benadryl in your beer, dude. And I was like, that's like not cool at all, man. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck is that? Why would you do that to oh somebody? Yeah. So so like, because wow. uh, Felicia was at the yeah. party last night. Yeah, and, I was um, too busy. Fucking your beard. <laughs> yeah, I honestly probably <laughs> deserved it. Know who else got drilled? Your <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, I probably deserved it. <laughs> now, that is hilarious. But what I think the reason that you and I always played well together is because it matters. Your partner matters. Your partner matters. Because you yeah. need, there always inevitably, is, you don't want two people that have the same, uh, same thing in common. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like, your strength is always like hitting the last cup. You yeah. know what I mean? I was a better first cup guy and I, I, I could do a good bounce, but I, the last cup was always my like bugaboo, but I loved when it was like, a, yeah, it's just all about it. I am like fucking Kobe from the mid range with last cup. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. Just, just underbite mamba Dude, yeah. mentality. Fucking. There were times that we played like those six cup ones where I might've hit the other five cups and never would have hit it the rest of the Dude. night. Let's you go just, drink right now. <laughs> All I want to do is love drink. Right dude, now. I want 700 beers. <laughs> yeah. Nicole, you in? I'm yeah. down. All right. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> it's so great over here. <laughs> um, but uh, what was the what was the whole point of what we were talking about? The before? whole point was, was we're relapsing, baby. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. That's it. Join uh, the it Patreon. Was like, yeah. What 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 professional sport do you think you could play now? So right. beer pong for sure, but also bowling. I think I could. No. Oh, wow. No. I'm not a very good <laughs> bowler, but I could get good at it. <laughs> what? If I knew I was a professional athlete, yeah. I would just your kinda, fingers are not. I'd kind of come a out bowling of bowling ball, dude. You know, the cut. your fingers are like corks. What? I, I would be like. <laughs> <it'd> be like <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, Thank you. Funny. You really got it. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Say it with your face. No. <laughs> I was, yeah. Um, so, so not bowling, I guess. No. Because I, my, have you seen bowlers? Like, have they, you, they, I'm they're like bowl, oh, near perfect. Bowl? And another like, thing. What? I bowl like a 150. <laughs> like that's like I stink <laughs> at bowling. Uh -huh. But I'm very like, bad perfect. at bowling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but I, I'm saying I could get good. How yeah. fast do you think you get good? I can if if I'm pro, if I'm being paid what professional bowlers get paid, uh -huh. twelve dollars and a hot dog. No, but you have time to become like, don't you have? To I have time. Good? If I could focus on it, I could become really good. In how long? I could do it in a week. <laughs> uh. Yeah, take that, professional One week. bowlers. It's easy. <laughs> I could do it in a week, and that's and that's if I sleep for two days. Mookie, <laughs> Mookie Betts is a professional bowler, even though he's a professional baseball player too. He's like crazy good too. But what I'm thinking is like I can't 
baseball. I can't play basketball. I can't play can baseball. baseball. I don't have uh, the body or the stamina for all that shit. Dude, by the way, have you guys watched that show? I told you to watch Physical 100. Uh, I almost I did. I put it in my queue. We it we finished it yesterday. Is that the one, is that the the um the Squid Games? It's like Squid. Games. That's yeah. what they did, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Not, I didn't know it was a yeah, subtitle yeah. thing when you. It's not sub subtitles. It's not. No, no, it's voiced over. So they're Korean, but they're oh, like, it's but dubbed. It's dubbed, which is awesome because they're like, he's so cool. Yeah, he's so cool. You know, it's like shit like that where it's like he's holding that rock for two hours, dude. There was a guy. They uh, one of the competitions was like, oh, they had to hold a hundred kilometer uh, pound rock or whatever pound, hundred kilometer rock, yeah, or kilometer or, or is a the distance. distance. What is it? Yeah. Kilos, hundred kilo Kilograms? rocks, kilogram. I don't know. Whatever it is, there pound. It's fucking heavy. They pound? held it for two guys. Held it for two hours. No spoilers. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I'll I'm, I'm trying to uh, rewind. <laughs> trying to get you to to want to watch it because I well, told, now I don't I have told to. you that. I told you to watch it. It's in both of our queues. Without any spoilers. And I put it in my queue, didn't I? Yeah. It's actually I don't know about the, that. There's no evidence. It's one of the first recommendations I've taken right in now. years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And actually I, I believe that because be it feels like you said that from the heart. Well, and I took it because I forget that I forgot that you recommended it. And I th and I saw it and I thought I discovered it. Feeney's putting it on his queue right now. Okay. Number one on the queue. <laughs> number one on the Let queue. Let me see. Let me see. Bring it over here. My list. Okay. It is number one, which makes me think you just did it. No, I just took my phone out. You just saw me. You can I all right. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Watch that show. Um, speaking of shows, this is the end of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think this is a top three episode of I all time. I do too. I think it's great. Of Should we do time. another question? Yeah. All right, let's do one more. This one comes from uh, Sindrius Telt. Si what? Sindrius Telt. Okay. <laughs> is that not it? I don't know. I never heard of either of those. No, those, those letters don't -R -I -U -S. register. R I U S. What song lyrics could you recite perfectly under penalty of death? Singing quality doesn't matter, just accuracy and matching the tempo. Happy birthday. Tequila. Yeah. Dun 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 Tequila. Is that it? Welcome to paradise. You I think every, I can. every single there. word. But but the gunshot rings out at the station. Oh wait, hold on, pull it up. Another merchant left it. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let him pull it up. It, on. Up. <laughs> it makes me <laughs> wonder <laughs> why <laughs> I'm still oh, here. Welcome to paradise. Oh yeah. Fifteen. For 15, some strange 15. reason, it's now 15. feeling like my home. No, no, no. Get to this and all I'm over again. Never gonna go. Pay attention to the. Streets and the broken homes. Some call this slum, some call it nice. I want to take it through a wasteland. I like to call my own. Welcome to paradise. I mean, Nicole, just send that clip to Chris and tell him I'm in. <laughs> tell Welcome to paradise is way better. What? What's the second one? Second that was it, verse. right? No. Do the third verse. There is no third verse. Yes, there is. Yeah. Third verse. Th verse is the first. I don't know. How does it start? Uh, dear. Dear mama, dear mama, can you hear nope. me laughing? Yeah, dear there you mother. go. There you go. It's been six whole months since that I, I have left, left your home. home. This sudden fear has left me. <laughs> You're uh, dead. You're thanks dead. everybody for watching. Oh, for some yeah. strange reason, it's now feel. He skips the whole thing and goes right into that, right? It makes me wonder why I'm still here. We'll see you next week, everybody. Take it easy. How about you, Dollar? Bye. Bye. Yeah.